Hi, my name is Mike, and in this video we're going to be showing the process to replace the battery in an APC SRT1500 rack mount network UPS. To begin, you can check the battery health through the on-screen control panel. And in this case, we're going to look at the battery, and you can see where it's saying near end of life. And then if we press the down arrow, you can see when the battery was installed and when it was recommended replacement by. In this case, the recommended replacement by date was November 2023. It's now April 2024, so we're a little bit past that date. Fortunately, the battery has not failed. It's still holding a charge, but we're going to go ahead and get that replaced here today. To perform this process, you'll only need one tool, a Phillips head screwdriver. In this case, I'm going to be using a drill with a screwdriver bit. You begin by pulling the front cover off. And these batteries are hot swappable, so we can do this while this is on. So we want to disconnect that by sliding this over. And there's three Phillips head screws located on the front of the battery. Bear with me, I'm gonna set the camera down so I can do this a little more easily. With the screws out, we can now slide the existing battery out. And there's two stops on the right-hand side. You can see where it says press here, it says to release. So you press in here. And then it gets to a second one. And again, I'm gonna set the camera down because this is pretty heavy. With the existing battery removed, now's usually a good time to just go through here and blow everything out with a little bit of compressed air. Get out any dust from around the fans or anywhere. And now we'll go ahead and installation is reverse of removal. We'll go ahead and slide the new battery in. Install those three Phillips screws reconnect the battery connector and then we'll run the built-in tests you can see the exact model what we're working on here today this is an srt 1500 rmxla process might be slightly different for your particular unit i recommend checking the exact model number when ordering a replacement battery to ensure that you receive the correct part With the new battery installed, we're going to go ahead and say yes to new RBC, and then hit OK. And that should automatically set the install date. We'll go ahead and double check that here through the menus. Let's check first the status of the battery. Scroll down, battery, OK. Shows it's now good. And then you can see it automatically these cards are network connected, so they do have some rudimentary remote capabilities. In this case, you, it is automatically able to set the date and time internally. So you can see it's now installed on April 2024. It gives us a recommended replace by date. And you can scroll through some additional options here. Charge, the estimated runtime, voltage, temperature. 
You can get a lot of information from the internal display. You can also check most of these metrics remotely. Next, we'll go ahead and run the built-in battery test. You can see it's testing the new battery. Once the test shows as passed, that's it. You're now done. Your new battery has been installed and you're ready to go for the next few years on this rack mount network UPS. I do recommend taking your existing battery to a recycling facility where it can be properly disposed of rather than throwing it into the trash or landfill. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to do a lot more similar computer repair and upgrade videos in the future. I also do repairs and upgrade videos on trucks and cars. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Thank you, have a great day, and stay safe out there.